lost it last year, so I'm gonna use that. I cut it in a quarter and then I I put them in the freezer and I have to use them because there's a lot of work. Alright, I'm gonna cut them and julienne them. It's gonna be good because it's grown it's a homegrown pears. It's probably good to cook when they're pressed, but since I am working and sometimes too busy coming home, like tired and don't feel like doing anything, so it's probably a good idea to just peel them, cut them, and put them in the freezer. Okay, I'm going to use this pan, dump that pierce in there, put some uh, lemon juice so it won't get, it won't get dark. And a vanilla extract, some sugar in there, okay I'm gonna put some cinnamon also in there. husband loves it's boiling and uh, it's time for me to put the cornstarch in there to thicken it make it thick I'm going to transfer in this dish. Let it cool down for just a little bit. And then we're ready to put it in the pastry. Flour in there. This is the one that I, I did a while ago. So let's put it. You can put as much as you want. And then we can just This. And there you go. Look at that. It's a simple, simple thing. Alright, let me take a closer.
Okay, this pastry, it's been rolled up, so what I'm going to do is, I still have leftover on this one, but it's okay, I can eat it. But then, whoop. I'm going to use the same pot, I'm going to use my stove this time. It's a little thick. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can put a lot of pears in there, you can put a little. It's up to you. So just fold it up and then fold it like this. So it's sealed up. How simple is that? All right, this one is a little smaller than the other one, but I can put a little in there and do the same thing. You just fold it up the edge. Put it right there. This one is a little thicker, so all right. Okay, fold it this way and then kind of like go around it to seal it you don't have to be perfect because you're the only one eating it if you want to be perfect then you're making a business and make it perfect way and then go around okay I have the last one here I'm going to use this vegetable oil. Alright, let me see if this is hot enough to dump this one. Look at this. Like, looks perfect. Alrighty. Gonna put two at a time. Or maybe I can put three in there. Yep. 
There you go. See what it come out. Wait till it brown. I did not put oil much to cover it at all because I don't want to, you know, use much oil to waste it. But you can put a lot of oil in there if you want to. But this one, I'm uh, just going to put my hands in there. Don't be sticking your hands in there. It's too hot. It's okay in here. The handle is okay. But not in here. <laughs> Also. All right. I turn it over. See, it's coming out good. This one you can also bake it, but. So here is my pear fried pies. It looks good. This have a little glaze on that I put it in. And this has no glaze on, so I don't know what my husband wants, but anyway. I made it made it so easy and enjoyable to really get a recipe get from the old people because they have a lot of experience already how to cook how to do this you know uh, and sometimes they have a lot of okay I've got to taste it here is the outcome. Mm -hmm. Aha, it's good. Can't beat that. Cause, uh, I like fried pies. I went to a store and bought me a fried pies and it's like uh, it's not much apples inside and it's mostly like cornstarch or something that they put it in there so I, I did not go back to buy it so if I have a chance I can cook it They're really good. Mm. I'll eat some more. husband is resting so when he get up he needs to eat some of this I 
can add it all. I might have to bring some to my friend. It's good. That's it for today. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like, share, comments, and please subscribe. Just click the red button. And I hope uh, that you will help me to grow my channel and see what life going to be in America.